Hello, today this is JX275, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Wizard 101 on an iPad. Now, this is a quite simple procedure, and it's actually one of the easiest things I've ever seen. So, all you need is an iPad and a MacBook or a PC or any laptop, any computer, doesn't matter what you have. But you need a computer, and um, also if you have a Mac, and it, it needs to be running on Leopard. It can't be running on Tiger. But anyways, um, so I am going to be showing you, like I said, how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is go into the App Store. And once you're in the App Store, as you can see, I have um, Splash Top already up that's the name of the application it's called splash top remote desktop for ipad unfortunately it's not a universal app so you can't get it on the iphone or ipod and i'm annoyed by that because i really wish it was universal um and it's sad that it isn't because that would be awesome but i kind of get why that's an ipad only thing because it would be hard to control a desktop with such a small screen so anyways as you can see I don't know what application that is I think it may be World of Warcraft but I don't play World of Warcraft so I don't know so I don't play it like I said and because of that I'm just not a I don't know what's on there okay so you're going to search, just search Splash Top, and what's going to come up is that will pop up, and you're going to install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it, but you're, you'll install it, and it's $1.99. Um, if you're jailbroken, you can just get it through install this. Um, and um, if you are wondering about that, it's um, a jailbreak feature that you can do. I'll, I'll talk about that later. But for now, so install it's one ninety nine, but it's definitely worth it. It's two bucks. So okay, so once you've installed it, um, go into the iPad, open it up, and there it is. Um, can't connect to mine because I don't have it up. I found an issue with this is that usually if it can't connect to it the first time, it won't be able to do it again. I found that if you turn Wi-Fi on and off, um, it will work again. But for now, it's not the important part. Um, um, I'm going to switch to my computer now. So I'm on a MacBook Pro, and this is the part where you download it. So what you're going to do is... Um, basically just search splash top and what's gonna come up is splash top incorporated just click on the other one splash top remote desktop and what's gonna pop up is this little advertisement but you're gonna click on get the streamer and this will pop up and depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac you're going to hit the download button. I already have it, of course, so I'm not going to download it, but you do that, and once you have it, um, open it up, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Uh, you know what? I already have it open, so I'll just click on the thing to... Okay, there's there it is. So, now head back to your iPad, and... Um, there's a little plus button in the corner. So now this is going to come up. So you add a computer. So basically, you're going to simply add a desktop that you're going to control. So you're going to fill it by filling in information. So first of all, and note that you need to have this application on it, and this application needs to be open, needs to be turned on, and everything. And by the way, it can't be if you have a laptop and it can't be closed, you're sleeping. Um, so, the computer.
computer name. So first of all, you just make up a name or type in the name that's already there. Um, say your name is Fred and you have a PC laptop. You could say Fred's PC or something or Fred's computer or whatever. Um, but you fill in the information. It doesn't have to be exact or anything. You make up a name so it knows what's to, what to call it. Now, the IP address is important. You need to know the IP address, but that's actually not that hard to know your computer's IP address. What you're going to go to is the application on the computer will actually have it right there. Mine's 192.168.1.149. And um, yours is going to be different, of course, because that's just my computer. However, um, you know, so this right here, get this, and then you go and type it in. Type it in right here. So, and then you're going to set a password. So, say you don't want people to just be able to get on. They'll have to enter a password to access your computer's desktop. So you can set that so they have to enter a password. So anyways, um, so once you filled in that necessary information um, and you hit done, I'm not going to because I'm not filling it in. I already have it. Um, pay no attention to that. That was um, a little mess up before I really understood how it worked. But um, so what's going to happen is it should appear now if it shows this could not reach that means that something may be wrong or in my case I figured out that sometimes it has trouble with the Wi-Fi and if you um for me you go into settings but for me I'm just gonna use SB settings it's a jailbreak feature I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi and then turn it back on and then I found that I had an easier time here. Let's try this again. Um, Uh, See, so mine's having trouble because I don't have a great Wi-Fi signal. You need to have three bars worth of a Wi-Fi signal. As you can see, I only have two bars, but you need to have three bars. So, um, I am going to actually perform it, but, you know, show you, give a demonstration of it working. But it does work, it works great, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here I am again, and this time my issue was fixed. Um, so it's now fixed and should be working fine. Done what I can to get to work, so now it should work fine. So as long as it shows it in blue, there's no red X, and that means you can connect to it. Um, what I'm going to do is connect to it, just like connecting to desktop, and then on your desktop, it will say the iPad is controlling the computer. So, um, those are basic gestures that will show them. So you hit OK. As you can see, I can now control my desktop, and this is the iPad. And... You can, you know, access everything. Now I'm going to minimize it. And open up Wizard 101 to show you that this does work. Now, my password happens to be in cap lock. And if yours does too, then I would recommend changing it. If you intend to do Wizard 101 on here a lot. Um, because you can't, for some reason, type in cap locks in here or even shift I don't know why that's the case but it is so I'm gonna type in my username on the computer instead so and 
And there it goes. So back to the iPad. Um, so come on, it's working, it's working. Okay, so here's Blizzard 101, and note that you cannot have it in full screen. I encountered errors with it when it was in full screen, and trust me, it was not fun at all. And it took me a little while to figure it out, but when you finally do figure it out, sorry, let me mute it because I get annoying. Um, but when you do, you know, get it in, you want to have it in a window form. You know, and not full screen, because like I said, full screen does not work. So now I'm going to um, hit play, and just so you know, this doesn't work. I mean, it does work, but there's one thing you do want to make sure that works is... Now, what I've been having trouble with is, for some reason, I cannot move. And I don't know why, you know, but hitting the arrow keys, just not making my guy move. And I don't know why that is. Even W, A, S, and D don't work. However, um, all the shortcut keys work, like M. No, that should be working. And let's see. Huh. Oh, it's my keyboard's turned off. Turn it on. Ah, uh, now. I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna use the. Up. Oh, it wasn't in the app. Okay, so right here, like hitting M for map works. B for backpack. You know. All the short cookies work. You can tap and everything. Um, you can change stuff. Of course, you can adjust settings. Just like you were actually using the desktop. Now, the only thing is you need Wi-Fi, not 3G. And, unfortunately, 3G does not work as much as I'd like it to. It just doesn't work. And, um, you can go home. You can... Do all sorts of stuff. The only problem is you can't move, which is annoying. I know, bear with me, but eventually I believe there will be a way to fix the problem. I don't know, this may be a Mac only issue. You um anyone who's using PC may not encounter this problem. Um but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to control it on the Mac now. Um, but, so, uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and I'll be coming out with more tutorials soon. And this really is not just for Wizard 101. It's for anything, any item you want. Now, the only thing is, um, if you've got any questions about it, you can post them. I may not be able to answer them all. But um, this is just meant as a guide to help you if you can't figure out how to do it. And I've seen that question a lot before, but no one's made a video yet on how to do it. And I just figured that I might as well get this up there because I knew that I figured someone should be able to see it. So there you go. Bye for now.